What I do, what I do, da da do, da da do. Hey guys, today we got a different video. Today I'm gonna showcase a script for you. It's gonna be a redeem script that I made that can be found in the Ankwot community Discord in the script channel. If you aren't in the community Discord already, press the question mark in the top right corner and join community Discord. I will link some videos in the description below if you have trouble setting up the scripts tab or installing scripts. So this is just showcasing the script. The script is here, it's enabled, and we got all the settings on the right side. So we're gonna go into the rewards right away. There's some general and responses settings as well you can set up, but those are not the interesting ones right now. So first we enable the reward, then we, or we can also disable it, but that wouldn't make any sense for this video. Then we put a name to it, and this is one word. That's, this is the trigger word for the command. So if I want to redeem this one, it's going to be redeem space follow. It's going to cost 100 experience points. And I wanted to send a chat response if someone successfully redeems it. And I set it up to user spent cost curious name to redeem a follow on Twitch. That's what this reward is for. I wanted to play a sound. And I wanted to play the sound file test.mp3. These files that you want to play must be located in the sounds folder. The easiest way to find it is just scroll down and there's an open sounds folder button. If you click that one, it will open directly to the folder you need. So just put all your sound files here and make sure the name matches exactly, including file format. Then we have a GIF link because I want to play a GIF as well. So I just put the direct link to the GIF. Then I set how long I want the GIF to be shown. And I'm sorry if you hear my cats in the background. I want this to be shown for five seconds in this case. Because that's yeah, roughly how long the sound is. I want the permission level to be let's set it to everyone. Because it's just an it's a simple reward. We don't need an information level. We can have a user cooldown of 10 seconds, that's fine. And then we hit save settings. So now we can start re redeeming these rewards and the sound will work and everything like that. But if we wanna make sure this GIF is shown on the wallet as well, we gotta use the index file. So we got the locate index file button down here. If we press that one, we will come to the scripts folder and we find index.html. So now we just, all we gotta do is go into OBS. I'm just gonna go off of it here. We're gonna add, we're gonna add a browser source and uh, we're gonna make a new one. New one. Uh, everything is showing up on the wrong screen here. Then we wanna go local file. We wanna browse. And then we're gonna copy this one. All of that, is it here. And we get into the correct folder. Then we select the index.html. We press OK, we press refresh. And it's gonna look a bit weird in the beginning. What we also gotta do is right click on the script and insert API key. Without this, it, the overlay won't work. So insert that one. Reload scripts, open OBS again, open the properties for the overlay and refresh this one. And it's gonna be empty by default, but as soon as someone triggers one of the rewards, it should be shown. I'm just gonna make Hankpot a bit smaller here so we can see both Hankpot and OBS at the same time. And the cats are going nuts. I, I hope it doesn't disturb too much. Okay, so if I go into the chat now and redeem base follow. Now we should hear a sound, we should see a GIF on OBS, we should also get the chat response. So hopefully this all works, let's see. We can see the GIF over here, we can hear the sound, and we can see that I spent 100 points to redeem a follow on Twitch. One additional thing 
this command is that if you go into the yaml tab and have saved the file checked, all the redeemed items is saved to a file. This file can be found is to scroll down here and open redeems file. And we will have open a text file. Mine opens in Notepad++. And I've done some testing, so that's why there's a lot of me here. But the most recent one is right here. I redeemed the follow. 100 points on this date and this time. And if you want to reset this file, file you don't have to clear it out and hit save. Because I, I like to be lazy, so I made a lazy solution for you. Right here, right above save settings, at the very bottom of Ankbots, there is a group called Reset Redeem File. I put it in a, in a group so you won't accidentally hit it, because it's hidden by default. You gotta open that one, and then Reset Redeem File. Now this one should be reset. So Notepad noticed it's changed. Do you want to read it? Yes. And now you can see it's all empty. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.